Okay guys, here we go. Another treat. We have a custom van build listed for just around 69,000 or best offer done by a solo female nomad, maybe part-time. Part-time. Her name is Solomon. Solomon, say hello. Okay. So Solomon, just give us a breakdown of why you bought this van van and what was your process in building it out? Okay. Well, Start with it's a Rempro Master 3500. It's 2019 with just under 25,000 miles on it. Uh, I when I saw it, you know, I, I actually bought it online. I haven't seen it, but I knew I've test drove Ram, so I knew it. I like how it drives. I like this space. I like the square space. It, I get a pretty good um, gas mileage on it, just under 19, which is not bad for a size. 20, I just, I just under 20 actually. And then um, yeah, I, I you know I want to do it. Great. Okay, yeah. show us inside. Let's take a look. Very exciting. Okay. So again, it got a Dodge uh, gasoline. It's a thirty-five hundred. She's gonna unlock that. Yeah, I'm gonna unlock that. And this is what about twenty or twenty-two feet long? I think it was it twenty. It's about twenty-two. Okay. She's gonna unlock, and we're gonna take a look. You see, you got windows uh, on both sides at both points. This middle point. And at the end point, she uh, had those custom cut in those windows because yeah. they did not come. No, okay, so look at this, guys. All right, you have access off the passenger side, light, bright, and airy. Okay, yeah. look at the beautiful color floor. It's like a very light gray. And let me step in. Oh, go ahead, Solomon. Okay, and let's step inside. Okay, and the first thing we see is this seating area. Okay, so explain to us the process here. So, uh, we, we made these two cabinets, as you can see both of them are storage, mm -hmm. and down there, and um, this is a counter tabletop, mm -hmm. and it, it sleeps a person 6'2 or longer. Okay, great. I mean, or shorter, 6'2 six, six okay. or shorter. So you can use it as a workbench or a sleeping area? Yeah, sleeping area or a sit-down bench, you can have a little table here that folds out, and yeah, with a window, you get double windows, you get a nice little breeze. Cross so ventilation, cross ventilation. excellent. Yeah. We have the AC on top right here. Okay, and that was also custom. You put that in, right? Yes, I put, I put that in and cut it out. Uh, this is Dometic uh, 15 uh, EU AC. 15,000 BTU? Yes. Okay. Uh, we got a Bluetooth speaker here. Okay. You can, you can take it off and take it out. Little hangers. Oh, coat hangers. Yeah, Very little, cute. Little, little hangers going on that fold away. And the paneling? Uh, you did that custom? I did it. This is a shiplap. Entire thing is shiplap. So the entire thing was kill mat is the first layer around to take the noise away and then there's insulation and then there is half inch of wood and then the ship lap on top okay got it as a roll van put insulation then the paneling very good so i'll have you step in and i'll step like this okay okay and then this is where in the bedroom here uh little, little closet hanging very cute yeah little closet hanging stuff things to put underneath the one thing we're not short on in this van is storage. Storage, yeah. Okay. We have underneath the bed, we have our little, uh, three little... Excellent. Good use of space. Good use of space. We have drawers in here. Tiny smaller drawers for salsa. Mm -hmm. And a wine rack. Oh, wine rack. Okay, look at that, guys. Very nice. A little custom touch. Yeah. Uh, we have the refrigerator. This is the fridge. This is the freezer. 54 quart and it's 12 volt so it doesn't take much very good yeah. and we're going to look at you did some custom battery work correct we'll go back in there okay uh, well, look at this cute thing. it says one two three yeah little cute uh rack bin. our table if you want more space for just, workspace mm. just goes away if you want if you want a little more and our table goes away it folds in it was really nice one. i liked it when i saw this one and you did that yourself right custom no this one we bought this yep, but you install yourself. Install so this guy's, I mean, look at this. This, yeah. she did all this herself. She bought this a raw van, and this like, is her work. I like um, this is our new. This is cute. This, this is beautiful. Cute. So a little faucet, um, and this one flips around 100. percent So we have a little tent. And mm. Go in here. Very nice. And shower outside. Very multifunctional. Multifunctional is what's the word. This is a very nice, it's like an island um, sink. Yeah, like she said, multifunction. It's got little, uh, you can hang towels and stuff there. That is very Our nice. lighting is in here and lights up. Okay, LED light up top. Yeah, LED light to the side. 
change color and deem and can dim it. Yeah. And we have this is I love my fan. Okay. I love the see-through fan. Usually fans are dark and covered and mm -hmm. this is see-through. We is a remote control. Oh. And open it up. There it and is. it's rain sensor, so if it, at night it starts raining, mm -hmm. it will close itself. Okay. So you don't have to worry about it. So you get a fan, air conditioner, and you have cross ventilation. Yeah. So plenty of air movement throughout the van. Completely. Excellent. Good job. Yeah. Storage above behind you. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Let's just talk about the bed then before we go. So the bed is now this little wine rack is used as a step to get up here. Okay. Because it's pretty high. Okay. A uh, full size bed. Okay. With four mattress. I this bed is completely custom made. I did every single part of it, and it has wooden uh, slats. Okay, great. Yeah. And that's fixed, always down? It's always fixed. It's okay. fixed, it doesn't fold up. Yeah. Excellent, good Couple, job. Uh, we, put, we added the, so our outlets are here, power outlet, okay. USB and USB-C. Very and good. And another one is in the kitchen right here. Excellent, great for remote work or just charging your laptop. And uh, we have uh, two night lights over there if you want to keep okay. on reading. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take yeah. a little look at that. So again, cross ventilation, everything you want, very cozy back here. You got those two lights, you got a fan, you got your storage. You have the sitting area that can also be used as like a guest sleeping quarters. And you have another functional work desk, your refrigerator and freezer compartment, more storage, storage throughout, beautiful sink. And let's go into now the cockpit. So the swivels. Swivel chairs. My driver's seat doesn't, but I, this is this was a very cool find that I found online, and I love it. Oh, look at that! Custom shades. Everything's custom, guys. All done by Solomon. She did a great job here. I think this was a very cool find. And yes. That's it. You don't have to store it. Now you got privacy. Privacy completely. Solomon, how you've driven this now up and yeah. down the East Coast, yeah. so you have experience. I love it. What would you say for someone who's a little bit apprehensive of driving a van this size? Oh my God, it drives like a Jeep. I love it. It drives really smooth. Since I insulated and put the kill mat, it completely, completely is quiet and smooth, and I love it. What That's does cool. kill mat mean? I don't know. Kill mat is a thing you stick on, and it's a sound thing. It's you stick on walls and oh. floors and ceilings. Take insulation okay okay great yeah. and to your point again she's got storage up top and another light so you got plenty of storage and uh okay everything looks good from the cockpit we'll take a look at the back as she did some custom uh power battery work so let's do that now this was all done by her so for those who have a passion to work with their hands like solomon she's very passionate you know my time meeting her have you always been passionate to work with your hands well i was an athlete so i was working my hands all my life but yeah I, it comes easy yeah exactly. see for me i get overwhelmed too much work but for her this gets her excited gets true her excited, that's yeah, it's good sure. let's look in back at the great work you do with the batteries look at the van fully open very nice well, we have a dc to dc charger the batteries get charged when you're driving uh and then we have um, okay. and, and you do have a, a ladder just note that too yeah, we'll that goes go up to, okay so, look at this wow this is a bed. beautiful storage More area storage. back here More. wow is, you know, oh that's cute they like yeah kind of like half fold down yeah, half fold down. this is our power cord power cord and you can keep all the, i was thinking people can keep all the stuff that they don't want up front, like, you know, come from the beach, you put your dirty stuff here, you don't want it up front. This is a little storage we have. Before Now, before we talk that too, yeah. let's just make a note. She carried the flooring all the way to the back. You did that yourself, yeah, correct? Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Carried the box. Nat, now, I'm sorry, go ahead. That box is over the wheel, so there's nothing, there's no storage. Oh. So those are the box covering okay. the wheels. Okay. Yeah. Did you put that yourself yeah. too? Good job. Now, let this, I saw, when I saw her building this, this yeah, was her this was most one. passion. So, I'm going to keep my mouth shut and let you just go. So, we have two lithium batteries, 200 AH, you can see in the, behind there, it's, it's kind of, yeah, if you can get, yeah, there you go. Two batteries over there, uh, which is a lot of power. We have 3000 watt inverter. Everything is on a fuse box and we have DC to DC charger back there so you can keep on charging when you're driving. 
And then we have, uh, if you come around here, we have shore power that can charge the batteries as well and then use power in anywhere you want. So This is 30 amp? Uh, this is 30 amp. Or, or you have a, I have a thing you can do it on a regular just house. Okay. You know, so this was, uh, when I got the van, it had no cutouts anywhere. This was the f first hole I made. And I was terrified. <laughs> but since I got through the first one, then I was like, okay, I'm gonna start cutting everything now. So that was kind of fun. Um, so there is shiplap inside, the real wood shiplap. Now on the doors, and on all three doors, it's PVC because if it rains, you know, that's kind of, just to keep it set, you know. Okay. And then, yeah, we have a light out here if you're looking at your stuff at night. Very nice. And yeah, and you know, all the uh, wires from the AC and the fan and the shore power are running through the insulation in the wall. Things you cannot see. Thing looks beautiful. Thank you. Light, bright, airy. The idea was to keep it space, space and not to crowd it. Um, there is no shower, you know, just the outside shower, and the only thing there's space to put um, portable bathroom. But mainly, it was the idea to have uh, space and very comfortable. I, I was going for cozy and comfortable and airy and Cape Cod stuff. Yes, it looks like that. Yeah. And we also point out you have a backup camera, right? We have a backup camera, and um, obviously, let's show the ladder mm -hmm. where you can um, get up, and we have a little. Storage basket back there. Storage basket up top. Yeah, a little rack. And right. Yeah, that can be easily taken down, and if somebody wants to add solar, there's space for that. Because you know, I put the racks there. It, it didn't come with the racks. I put the racks there. Space for solar, and then we have the inverter. So if somebody, if somebody wants to add a solar panel. But um, my experience with two lithium batteries, you have quite a, quite a lot of power. Okay. I mean, most things are. 12 volt, the fridge is 12 volt, the fan is 12 volts, and um, the AC does take a lot of power, but you know, apart from that. Well, you should be proud of yourself. Let's walk to the side. We'll take one more look. You guys, leave in the comments below uh, your congratulations to Solomon. Her patience, strength, and endurance to stay with a van build out. She started, I saw, you know, at the very beginning, she started with a raw van, okay? And so, this is a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Our, um, so the water is two six oh, gallons. Oh, yeah. Two six, this is clean water, six gallons. Six gallon gray water. There's a water pump installed in the bottom. You probably can't really see in there. It's also 12 volt. And yeah, you know, it's really simple. You just take it out, turn, fill it up, put it back in. So and everything unhooks, everything is quick connect. So no black tank, no gray tank, just those. Yeah, just the gray tank. Like that. Yeah. Easy, nice and easy. easy. And it's here. You don't have to keep carrying the water inside. And that was the... I agree. Yeah. And the cute sign says, I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. <laughs> so this is it, guys. This is a home on wheels for 69000 or best offer, custom built with love, care, and passion. The most important ingredient. Solomon, any closing words? Uh, no, just stay positive. Yeah, yes. I love Solomon. Thank you again for uh, just being a great friend. I thank you. Thank you. Everyone below, just uh, click the thumbs up and leave a positive comment. Let's, let us know too if you have any interest. And we thank you for watching.